Hello friends! So today I am going to be showing you guys another fairly quick and easy recipe and it is a salmon couscous salad. Mm, it smells delicious. Also, side note, today I'm wearing my glasses for the first time ever. So maybe this recipe will go extra smooth because now I'm extra smart. I already know how it went, so tune in to find out. <laughs> All right, so what we need is obviously salmon, couscous. Now in the recipe, it did actually say to use pearled couscous. I think that's what it's called, which sounded really cool, but it, it didn't have it in the store. So we're using normal couscous. We are using fennel. This looks so weird. I never use fennel, so it just looks like a weird hand, like, Oh, I'm coming to get ya, I'm coming to get ya. Cucumber, shallots. Now look at this, gourmet traditional shallots. This makes sense. I'm like classy with my glasses and my gourmet shallots. I am just on a whole other level of human. So here are the shallots. Woo! they all fell. Okay, and then it also says optional tomato. I love tomatoes, so we're gonna use tomato. And then just your standard salt and pepper, olive oil. All right, let's get cooking. All right, so first we're cooking our couscous, so the water is boiling, and now we're gonna pour the couscous in. Ooh, couscous. Oh, it all got stuck to the bottom of the cup. Yeah, but this is the first step. I'm just making one serving, so that's a quarter cup, AKA 40 grams. I haven't made couscous in ages, and my mom is here and she has informed me that couscous is so easy, almost easier than toast. Mind is blown, I thought it was the same as rice. So what you do is, however much couscous you're putting, you put double that in water. So I had a quarter cup of couscous and I put a half cup of water, and then you just boil the water, and then you put the couscous in, and then you turn off the water, and you just let it sit with the lid, and then it's done. It takes five minutes, like I'm shocked, I was like, Oh, we gotta get cooking the salmon because the couscous is gonna stay be forever. No, nope, here we are. It's done. Okay. So, also, when the five minutes is done, you fluff up the couscous with a fork before serving it. And I actually think this recipe said to cool it down as well. And that's how you make a couscous. Okay, so I have cut up my. Whew, watch, I'm gonna drop this whole tray. I have cut up my fennel, my shallots my cucumber and my tomato Woo. and i've been letting my couscous cool in a bowl so now i'm going to mix them all together in a larger bowl i haven't eaten fennel in so long so i'm very curious how i'm going to like this okay so then once you have it in the bowl we're gonna mix it obviously and then we add salt pepper lemon and um, this stuff, olive oil. So I'm gonna put a teaspoon of olive oil and then everything else I'm just gonna like kind of sprinkle it on. The only thing I'm gonna measure is the olive oil because it's a little more particular with the calories. <laughs> last step is to cook the salmon so I was like why are they having me cook the salmon last when it probably takes the longest but then we realized that it, it's so that the flavors can marinate together so let's just let mmm 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 let's just let this marinate all nice and then we are going to do our salmon okay so we're putting our salmon on here. Now in the recipe, it says to use the fennel fronds and I only have this many. I, I think you were supposed to put a little more than that, but on my fennel, if you saw at the beginning of the video, it, this is all it had. So we're just gonna, ta-da! That's not so bad. That's not so bad, okay. And then we're gonna let that cook. It's said to add salt and pepper. I don't, I feel like the vegetables already have enough, so I don't know. Maybe I'll add a little bit of pepper. Ooh, maybe I should add extra, extra lemon. So many options, so many choices. I should know the answers, because I'm wearing glasses. All right, so I am here with the finished product. Here it is, again. So yes, very lovely. It smells very nice. So yeah, I just, um, at the end, I threw the salmon on top with my 
large amount of fronds and I put a little bit of extra lemon for show. Look at me on my presentation. It's because I'm wearing glasses. I know how to decorate a plate now. Okay, so now let's try it out. My dogs are down here. They're very excited. That's Thursday. Hi. Don't get your hair in my food. Hello. Roxy's down there too, but she doesn't like being picked up. Oh my gosh. I gotta pull the muscle. Okay. <coughs> okay. Let's try it. Let's try it. I love how I just took a bite of salmon. Like I've never tried salmon before. Like I need to take a bite of the stuff I haven't tried. Like the fennel. Oh my god. I'm making a mess. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. <coughs> mm. There's something the taste reminds me of. Like you know when a taste reminds you of how something smells? It's gonna take me a minute, but I'm gonna figure it out. Hi Rocks Rocks! Kind of reminds me. It's really good. I don't know. I don't know what the taste reminds me of. Maybe like, maybe it's because I haven't had fennel since I was like little. So it just reminds me of like, it reminds me <laughs> of a lunch. Okay, I don't know why, but when I just taste fennel, one second, let me just gather my thoughts one more time. Okay. <laughs> no, this does, just doesn't make any sense. It makes sense in my head, but it just doesn't make sense. It smells like an outdoor picnic that you would attend when you're little. No. <laughs> baby dog head and another little baby dog. Can you see Baxter's head? Baxter? <laughs> yeah, so I haven't come to the conclusion with what this taste reminds me. Maybe I'll remember when it's too late. I don't know. My guinea pig used to eat this, so maybe this smell just reminds me of guinea pigs. I don't know, but I like this meal. It was fairly quick and easy. Definitely like a nice little different twist on a salad, because you got your veggies, you got your carbs, you got your protein. So yes, I would definitely recommend this. It was, it has a very lovely flavor. I put a little bit too much black pepper, so my mouth is a little bit like, ha ha ha, right now. Um, but yes, that is it for today. I just spit on myself. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this recipe. I put out new ah, recipes. Excuse me. I put out new recipes every single week. And that's it for today. Bye.